I haven't really acknowledged (laughs) Sean's acknowledgement of me in her lecture, and I wanted to take a moment to do that. Um, So what happened is Sean is giving her, Sean Kemper, um, Dr. Sean Kemper, was giving her keynote speech. Uh, She's a friend of mine, and she also knows that... um, I was motivated to apply to teach at QuiltCon Atlanta and to be at QuiltCon Atlanta largely because I knew that, you know, her quilts would be hanging there as, you know, she's the honored quilter. And so to see her quilts together and be able to absorb them as a show would be powerful and wonderful and not really possible in any other way because so many of them belong to different museums. Um, So she knew I was there for her and her quilts and that if I could be at the keynote, I would be at the keynote. And I was at the keynote and she knew that. And um, she's someone who takes, um, she doesn't just talk the talk, she walks the walk and knows that quilting is inspired by so many things and comes from so many places and um, specific quilt communities have been fed by various people at various times Um, and she just took a moment to acknowledge my part in that and it was super cool (laughs) so thank you so Sean's talk was about, you know, her personal journey. Uh, She, you know, always grew up in a crafting family and started knitting when she moved somewhere with a winter, started quilting as well, found her way um, on Flickr to a group called Fresh Modern Quilts. And she just took took a moment to talk about that group. Um, And I, it's a group I founded almost through a quirk of history. Uh, But it is, it it did, it was a big part of my life for a while. And it was also where Modern Quilting first had a community. Uh, And community was the overwhelming theme of her lecture. Finding and uh, building community. So it was just really cool. And... I took away so much more than just (laughs) her acknowledgement. I am all fired up now to uh, make new quilters and to make sure that um, people know how to find and make communities within the quilting world. Uh, One thing that really struck me in thinking about it later is, you know, she really put out a call to us to... Uh, make new quilters and mm, think about the fact that you know making new quilters probably means expanding communities making places for new communities Um, but like when I started that Flickr group I wasn't trying to start a community I was trying to um, find more pictures of quilts that looked like the quilts that I was making and wanted to make so it doesn't have to be a grand plan (laughs) was kind of something that occurred to me. Um, I was looking at, um, her photos. She has a photo of students from Michigan state university, black students, um, responding to her quilt, uh, the one for Eric G that says, I can't breathe on it. Um, how moved they were by it. And, Um, that university isn't terribly far from my house, maybe an hour. And I was just like, oh, right, here are young black people that can see the power of quilting and might be interested in putting some thread through some fabric. And is there a way to just quietly and simply be there and show (laughs) how to use a machine? to anyone who wants to. Small steps have a, can have big results. All right, as you can probably tell, I am uh, 
I'm tired and my voice is tired. It's uh, Monday, the day after Qualcomm closed. I'm at home and it's probably time for me to do some laundry and um, put some quilts back in the studio that came with me to classes today. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope that um, we all think about ways that we might be able to just do small things that might snowball. Yeah. <laughs>